Tamara Yeager. I'm a clinical educator um, for the critical care and cath lab. Meredith's Medical Center in Hagerstown, Maryland. The educators in our hospital were involved with new hire orientation, some housewide training like mock events, yearly skills. Um, we try to round on the staff to identify education needs. I also participate in um, procedural sedation training. We also do a lot with um, policies and being involved in nursing practice council as well as professional development council. Um, I think a big challenge is the lack of resources. Um, everybody I'm sure is experiencing it due to changes in healthcare, um, reimbursement models, so I think it's going to get more challenging for us as educators in the future to educate staff on new equipment. Um, new evidence, changing policies to um, kind of align with evidence-based practice, which is a huge process. Um, but we try to arrange things in order of um, what has the highest need and address those first and then deal with the lower need. I would love more with simulation. Uh, we do have a sim man, and we do um, incorporate him into our procedural sedation training, mock events, we make a mobile, um, but a lot of nurses have really responded to that type of learning, um, which is newer for our hospital. Mostly it had been online education or in-servicing, um, which for some people is not, and even some educational needs aren't the best way to learn a skill. I love feeling like I'm helping the nurses. I feel, um, I think being a clinical educator, you're a resource for them. People I work with are great and it's just, it's a great field to be in.